Hello everyone, best wishes for all of us in this video and in this presentation. We're gonna talking to you about our uh, week three assignment uh, about uh, technology innovation idea presentation. Uh, Minister of Cooperative uh, Teten Matsuki said that Indonesia has a great opportunity to dominate the ornamental plant market both domestically and for the export market. Teten Matsuki, uh, after visiting the Floriculture Indonesian uh, International or FLOII exhibition organized by the Indonesian Floriculture Association in Jakarta this October said that Indonesia has abilities that are no less great than other countries in terms of ornamental plants. Therefore, we introduce SIGI Automatic Plant Monitoring System. Uh, this is our team. My name is Christian Jonathan uh, with student identification number 22129013 and Carnelia Raisa with identification number 22129009 and the last is Grandina Mandegara with student identification number 22129020. From Informatic Engineering uh, from Technology University. Uh, what if uh, plant lovers have hundred or even thousand of plants? Imagine the large uh, number of potted plants that need to be handled. Caring for a plant can take, uh, can take a lot of a time. Moreover, it is not uncommon for a person to handle uh, more than one plant. Losing even a small task schedule for the plant can result in the plant drying out and even its death. Such trifles as forgetting to water the plant and monitoring how the humidity level of the plants is uh, very troublesome. This is a common problem for people who are already too busy with uh, other things. How would it feel if plants could take care of themselves? To answer this, I created a website that can control the things needed earlier. Okay, so next, there's a software that we use, there's a Visual Studio Code. So in this Visual Studio Code, it is useful for creating websites, fetching data from Arduino and sending to SQL, as well as retrieving data from SQL and sending it to Android Studio. And second one, there's a Arduino IDE. In this Arduino IDE, uh, to program the microcontroller so that uh, if we can run the according to the specified scheme. So next is there's there's a this uh, Android Studio. I'm sorry, uh, Android Studio in this project is used to display Android application based on data. Next. So there's a hard system. First one, there's a not MCU. There are three ways to use ESP8266 as Wi-Fi access using AT command, which is usually used by Arduino for Wi-Fi connection. As a standalone system using not MCU and using LUA language. As a standalone system using system using not MCU and using LUA language as a standalone system using Arduino IDE that can already connect to a to ESP8266 and second one there is THT11 to measure humidity is by detecting water vapor by measuring the electrical resistance between the two electro electrodes and the third one relay the way relay works is by controlling one electrical circuit by opening and closing contacts on another circuit there are two main parts of relay namely electromagnets and me mechanical what is me what is meant by mechanical that is a set of switches or switch contacts and the fourth one and the fourth one is soil moisture sensor it is used to measure the water content in the soil and it, it can also detect the weather that occurred yesterday and today through soil media the working principle of this sensor is very simple, namely there are two plates uh, where if the two plates are exposed to the conducting medium, the electron will move from the pole plus to the pole and so that there is a current current uh, that will cause voltage. 
Electron movement is used to detect whether there's water in the soil or not. If the soil is wet, it means that it means that the soil contains a conductive medium. But if the soil dry, it is does contain electron conducting medium. So that the ADC microcontroller will see the difference. And next, there's a water water level sensor. When the heat or volume of water rise, the pendulum mat of magnets on the water level tool will, will automatically lift as well. And when the magnet is at the sensor level, the sensor will active and provide signs such as lights and alarms. And the last one is water pump. The way the water pump works is actually very simple. The water pump works according to the revolutions of of the engine. This is because the water pump is related to the pulling pan pulley. Uh, this pulley is connected to the engine through the V belt or fan belt. Therefore, a rotation of the water pump is just the rotation of the engine. Next. So for the database, we use MySQL. We have two tables in our database. First is smartphone, smartphone, and second is login login. So this is how it works. This is our product for our Arduino engine. And this flowchart is for our website. And this is the database how it, how to work. And this is the flowchart of our smartphone system. Okay, next there's a user interface and user experience. The first one, there's a login page. And next. And the next one is the search page. And the next one, there's a diagnose page. Okay, and next there's a diagnose page. So in this website, we can monitor through the available line charts, which will be updated uh, every minute. Next, and there's a export page. Next, still the explore page. Next, and this is the reminder page. Okay, next. And the last one is the My Garden page. Okay, next. So, the result of our project of automatic plan monitoring system. Here is what the automatic plan system looks like. For result, as we discussed earlier in the introduction, the soil moisture sensor will read the moisture monster, and after that, it concludes that the soil is dry and requires water intake. The water will automatically be channeled by a water pump which is turned on by a wheel. So our condition of our automatic plan monitoring system is first it can be concluded that automatic plan monitoring can make it easier for someone to take care of and maintain the plan. This system is very useful for people who are but we will love their play. The system can only monitor the status of soil moisture, so from there, if you see the soil moisture is dry, the water will be channeled for plant purposes. The update data can be monitored via the website and also through the Android application in the form of a line chart and a website of data. The drawback the drawback of the system is that it does not help plants if one day the plants need to use lights or sunlight. Automating on this process or task can result in a huge work reduction and time saving for the owners and make sure that the plants stay alive and healthy. This is the main goal of this project. 
McLean Pot can perform certain tasks at uh, the team, making our work easier. The plan pot will be assisted by a sensor that can measure the level of moisture in the soil, whether dry or wet. If it needs water, it will automatically be channeled to a water pump. Some data will also be logged in. The link database will also inform the owner of it. This is all done automatically by the pot without the need for human intervention. So, that's the presentation from me, uh, from our group about the automatic plant monitoring system or SIGI automatic plant monitoring system. I hope through this presentation will help plant lovers who handle and taking care for many plants at one time. Furthermore, if you have any question about this project, please put them in the comments below. My name is Christian Jonathan uh, Pascual and my partner is Carnelia and Grandina Matagara from Engineering Study Program of Technology University. Thank you and see you.